This is Guatemala, once the heartland of the ancient Mayan civilization. Hello, welcome to Opentiera. Today we're exploring the beauty of Guatemala, a country nestled in Central America, known for its rich Mayan heritage, stunning landscapes and vibrant culture. Stick around till the end to immerse yourself in the flavors of Guatemalan cuisine and discover hidden gems that define this captivating country. Guatemala is located in Central America, bordering Mexico, Belize, Honduras and El Salvador. The country can be divided into four main geographical regions. The Pacific Coastal Plain runs along the Pacific Ocean and contains Guatemala's largest city, Guatemala City. The Northern Highlands stretch from Mexico south through central Guatemala and contain many volcanoes and mountains. The Petén region in northern Guatemala contains lowland rainforests and many Mayan archaeological sites. The eastern highlands border Honduras and contain Lake Isabel, Guatemala's largest lake. Three mountain chains run through Guatemala which contribute to its varied landscape. The Sierra Madre stretches along the Pacific coast while the Cuchumatanes and Chuacas mountain ranges run parallel to each other through central Guatemala. Guatemala has a tropical climate that varies by elevation. The low-lying regions are hot and humid, while the highland areas experience cooler temperatures. It has a wet season from May to October and is prone to tropical storms. The country has several significant lakes and river systems. Lake Isabel is the country's largest lake at over 565 square kilometers. Lake Atitlan is a deep crater lake surrounded by volcanoes and a popular tourist destination. The longest river is the Motagua River which forms part of the border with Honduras. These rivers and their tributaries provide water for irrigation and hydroelectric power. The earliest known settlements in Guatemala date back thousands of years to the Archaic period. The ancient Mayan civilization began to develop around 2000 BC and reached its peak during the Classic period from 250 AD to 900 AD. The Mayans built impressive city-states across Mesoamerica, including sites like Tikal, El Mirador and Caminal Juyu in what is now Guatemala. They constructed tall steppe pyramids, palaces, temples, observatories and ball courts out of stone and wood. They developed a complex writing system of hieroglyphs and texts, including the famous Popol Vuh creation story. The ancient Mayan made advancements in art, architecture, mathematics, astronomy and complex calendar systems. Mayan mathematics utilized the concept of zero and large numbers. The Mayans were skilled farmers, architects, traders and artisans. While the southern lowlands declined around 900 AD, the northern Mayans continued to thrive into the post-classic period until the Spanish conquest. Remnants of the great ancient Mayan civilization can still be seen across Guatemala through archaeological sites, architecture and Mayan descendants, keeping ancient traditions alive. It represents a critical foundation of Guatemalan history and identity. In the early 1500s, the Spanish arrived and conquered the Mayans and other indigenous peoples. Guatemala was part of the Captaincy General of Guatemala under Spanish colonial rule. The Spanish destroyed many Mayan texts and converted them to Christianity. There were some Mayan uprisings against Spanish rule. Guatemala gained independence in 1821. After independence, Guatemala briefly became part of the first Mexican Empire and then the Federal Republic of Central America before becoming fully independent in 1839. It experienced political instability and power struggles between liberals and conservatives. From the late 19th century to 1944, Guatemala was ruled by dictators closely allied to the United Fruit Company and the United States. 
A democratic government ruled from 1945 to 1954 until a US-backed coup. This began 36 years of civil war as leftist rebels fought against a series of military regimes. Indigenous Mayans were targeted by the military. The civil war finally ended in 1996. Since then, Guatemala has worked to rebuild and recover, though it continues to face challenges such as poverty, inequality and corruption. The indigenous Mayans make up about 40 to 60 percent of the population in Guatemala. The largest Mayan group are the Quiche people, followed by the Cachiquel, Mam, Quechi and other Mayan groups. Each Mayan ethnicity has its own distinct language, traditional clothing and cultural practices. About 40 percent of Guatemalans are mestizo, meaning they have a mix of European and indigenous ancestry. There are small numbers of Europeans, especially Spanish and German descendants. There are also minor groups with African, Asian and Middle Eastern roots. Roman Catholicism is the predominant religion, with 50 to 60 percent of Guatemalans identifying as Catholic. However, Mayan people often blend Catholic practices with indigenous spiritual beliefs. About 40% of the population is Protestant. There are also small numbers of Jews, Muslims and other faiths. Indigenous Mayan religions are still practiced, especially in rural areas. These belief systems revolve around forces of nature, ancestors and complex Mayan calendar systems. Spanish is the official language and is used by most Guatemalans. However, there are over 20 different Mayan languages spoken. The main ones are Quiche, Cachical, Quechi, and Mam. Some Mayans are monolingual in their native language. The government recognizes 23 Amer Indian languages alongside Spanish. Guatemala's GDP is around $95 billion according to World Bank estimates. It has a predominantly agricultural economy Major agricultural exports include coffee, sugar and bananas. Guatemala is one of the world's largest exporters of both coffee and bananas. Other agricultural products include corn, beans, cardamom and vegetables. Manufacturing and tourism are also important parts of the economy. Major industries include food processing, clothing, furniture and pharmaceuticals. Key manufacturing exports include sugar, textiles and clothing. Tourism is focused around Guatemala's natural beauty and Mayan archaeological sites. Despite some economic development in recent years, Guatemala still faces many challenges. It has a GDP per capita of around $8,200, making it a middle-income nation. However, inequality remains high with over 50% of the population below the poverty line. Guatemala's economy struggles with low tax revenues, corruption and an uncertain political climate. Reliance on only a few agricultural exports makes it vulnerable to weather events and global prices. The United States is Guatemala's top trading partner, accounting for over a third of its exports and a quarter of its imports. Other major partners are neighboring Central American and Latin American countries. Guatemalan literature originated with pre-Hispanic Mayan hieroglyphic writing and epic poems like the Popol Vuh. During Spanish colonial rule, literature was primarily written by Europeans. After independence, Guatemalan writers began to emerge, such as José Mila and Rafael Spinola. Notable 20th century authors include Miguel Ángel Asturias, winner of the Nobel Prize in Literature, and Luis Cardoza y Aragón, known for combining surrealism and Mayan myths. Guatemalan art reflects both Spanish colonial and indigenous Mayan influences. Prominent types of art include painting, weaving, wood carving, and pottery. Cachical painter Andres Curuchich is renowned for works depicting Mayan life. 
Indigenous weaving and fabric arts use bright colors and patterns, like the traditional Mayan blouses called huipiles. Indigenous Mayan music remains an essential part of Guatemalan culture. This includes playing on instruments like marimbas, maracas, chirimias, flutes, and tune wooden drums. Guatemalan cuisine reflects the country's diverse cultural influences, from indigenous Mayan flavors to Spanish colonial ingredients. Corn, beans, chili peppers and rice are dietary staples. Popular dishes include tamales, plantains, chorizo sausage and different stews. Tostadas are a popular Guatemalan snack or appetizer. They consist of a fried corn tortilla topped with tomato sauce, cabbage, lettuce, chicken, pork, beef or other meats and cheese. They are often garnished with avocado or radish. Tamales are a signature Guatemalan dish made from masa dough, stuffed with seasoned meat, vegetables or cheese, wrapped in banana leaves or corn husks and steamed. Pache de Polo is a traditional chicken soup. It contains whole chicken pieces, ham, rice, vegetables and herbs cooked in broth. The dish was likely influenced by Spanish cocido stew. Pache de Polo takes hours to prepare, but provides a protein-rich, hearty meal. Jocon is another iconic Guatemalan meat stew, layered with plantains, potatoes, tomatoes, peppers, and herbs. The name comes from the Mayan word for sauce. Jocon can feature chicken or beef. This filling one-pot meal has a deep, earthy flavor profile. If you enjoyed this video of Guatemala, you'll love this next one.